Hey guys, it's the Dark Jerry here. Thank you, thank you. And, um, I wanted to show you guys another one of my awesome creations. Um, this is uh, another, um, roller coaster that I made. It takes up a good portion of this island, you know, over there and stuff. So, I'll show it to you via the ride and whatnot and everything. So, get ready. Okay. Ready, guys? Let's do it. By the way, there's a reason those two aren't powered. No, the rest are. We. I love this. You guys are so awesome. I forgot to fill the fireworks dispensers. Whoops. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys how I built this. So, this is actually built along the same principles as some of the old um, wooden coasters. It is all these giant frameworks that I had to put in. You know, you can see that it took a lot of hard work. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we go. So this is what I built, guys. It's just an old wooden coaster design. Oh, that. Just trying to finish it out, you guys. I had some framework still in places where I had wanted to kind of cap off some things, kind of give it a more creepier effect on us, on some spots. Yeah, so let's go ahead and fill the uh, fireworks dispensers so I can show you what it really looks like when it does that. Uh, okay. Um, there's one there. So let's see. Uh, light blue, red. Cause that was specific what I was into. Magenta. Okay, so in this one we put this, right, boop. that one there gets the red one, and just so you guys know, it fires right there, and then sticks there and pops shortly after you go over the hill, which is pretty fun. And this one will get magenta. As you can see, I've used some redstone machinery add-ons to it, so it kind of will hit these um, detector pads and activate those, which will slam the redstone block into those, firing them. Oop, looks like I need to grab some more of those. So I will show you it in its full glory on the next ride down. I just kind of want to get the uh, fireworks in place real quick, you guys. Let's, let's see. Uh, and that one's got it loaded. I think that is all of them for dispensers. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I had that covered by cut for. Oh, yeah. Make it look more natural. Okay, so I know it's a little more natural. Alright, so let's go back to the top there. And as you can see, I put a lot of work into it, you guys. Like, this is one of my favorite things to do is <laughs> Minecraft roller coaster adventures. We Okay, so. We should start hitting the dispensers. Okay. 
You can hear the <laughs> the doors that have the smoke pouring out of them popping up and then clouds are part of the effect. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and push it down so you guys can watch the fireworks go off as they go. They're all down on that end. So it'll take it a minute, but um, I've got just enough pieces that are powered to actually make the whole cart come all the way back. There's one, there's another. Those two go out sideways. They're not great. The red one actually fires close to you as a kind of a jump scare effect. And, urch. and that's why I have the two unpowered sets there. Anyhow, guys. And then, of course, guys, I've got one more to show you, so stay tuned because the next one's coming up in just a moment. Alright, see you in just a minute, guys. Okay, hey guys, we're back again. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And so, this is my other one. This one is going to be a lot bigger than this by the end of it, but um, this is just kind of a general idea on how um, you can use redstone and stuff on, like, roller coasters to make some really cool pop-up scares and stuff. So, um, give me one moment to flip back around. hi -ya. Okay, there we go. So, yes, I should... Start with a minecart, huh? And then, of course, as part of the scary effect, we put that in. The minecart down, get in, activate, and here we go. Did you see the jump scare pop up, guys? Here we go again. Do you see it every time we go past it? <laughs> now what I did guys was um, I pretty much put um, a block of um, oh what do they call it? Sea lantern onto it and um, onto a sticky piston connecting it to her by redstone to um, a detection pad so that when the detection pad gets hit it pops it up and then there's um, fines over um, one of the trap doors that's got the holes in it and so I figure this is the most perfect little ride here um, I will be extending it it's gonna be really big by the end of it so that it you know it takes up the entirety of the sequence from the uh, disc 11 but yeah that's what that's all about so yeah that one will be a lot bigger but here let me show you how I built this okay so there's the trap door obviously it has no actual activation it doesn't actually do anything but okay so the redstone placement for it is right here see the detection um, track and it follows this redstone mind you I'm going to have to fill that part back here and then it drops down here where of course there's this glowstone, or, or not glowstone, but um, sea lantern, which when the um, redstone is activated, let me grab a redstone torch to show you guys what it does, or I guess a better idea would be a button. Okay, so we put the button right here. Oh, I can't. Let's see how it does that. And so that's basically what I did was you put this up, or oh, even better. So yeah, there you go, guys. But no, it's not supposed to do that. That's supposed to stay up so that when it comes up, it just does this and makes kind of a face look. But I guess the trap door effect could be a useful one. No. It's actually supposed to keep that up so that when it pops across here, try it this way. There we go. See, like that. So it slides up and then drops back down like that anytime it hits this track. And so that's what that's all about. And that's the power of that. Anyhow, guys, I wanted to show you those. Um, I better fill that in. 
That way, no external light other than, you know, what's at the doorway here. And make a full on doorway entry. Like that. And there we go. Dog Terry's Amusement Park. Ah. That one's gonna be mostly flat, like running through like a demonic thing. By the way, guys, check this out. This is even more cool. I made the island myself. And as you can see, it's actually just those two things holding the whole island up. And a base that's actually designed rather improperly. Like, this is the stupidest idea. But it looks cool, so let's end up with it. But, so that's how that works. Oh, my piece of bread still not just kind of under there. Anyhow, so. <laughs> I will be expanding this. There will be like a roller coaster that goes up and over this thing and everything. Like, I'm going to make the hugest amusement park. It's going to have like racetracks, you guys, and everything. So, be on the lookout for me making a full release of that. Have some buttons, guys. You know, right? Here, have some disc 11 and some arrows of slow falling. Have another disc 11. Here, have all these two. You know, all the redstone lanterns you want. <laughs> anyway, guys. Thanks again for watching my videos. And I'm glad I could show you some really cool stuff that I've made with my um, minecarts and stuff. To heck with mining. It's much more fun to make an amusement park. Ah. Anyhow, guys. I love ya. Bye. Oh. And don't forget, if you like my videos, to hit the thumbs up, please. And also to subscribe, so that you can be notified of everything I do from here on out. Okay, guys. I love you. Bye.